Whoa. Is this in English? Ah, there it is. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon! Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Oh, it's an elephant! <laughs> Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea and the sky, and even with us in our towns. I don't know any of these Pokemon. <laughs> and those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers! Dude. It's funny because, like, it's a soccer pitch, really. It doesn't... I mean, I guess there was kind of... Pokeball there. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose. And it's a pleasure to be here. What's a girl's name, dude? <laughs> now turn your gaze to the Galar's region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. And it starts with a bang. Yo! I like the Metagross, like, uh, sneakers there. That's cool. Oh! He's got a Charizard, huh? All right. Uh, don't, don't know that one. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pursuing record is about to end where I beat you here today. You do not, you know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax. Oh, straight into the Dynamax. Oh my goodness. It's, this head's gonna pop out of the stadium, dude. Pokemon Shield. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Alright, still going. <laughs> I like it. Ah, oh, so detailed. I thought Let's Go looked good. This looks amazing. Hey, there's a little bunch of legs. That's me. That is me. And that, I thought it was a switch. That's actually a, that's like, he's watching YouTube. I'm what? hello, hello. Okay, wait, 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 let's just, hold on. Hey everyone, it's your Fred Thing Noodles, and welcome back to Fan Choice Friday, and also to a brand new series on my channel for Pokemon Shield. Yes, Pokemon Shield, Sword and Shield is out. I chose Shield. Well, I'll talk about that later, uh, but guys, as you can see on screen right now, a bunch of you guys suggested this for Fan Choice Friday, and of course, I'm playing this game. I just finished, uh, let's go, like a couple of hours ago. <laughs> so, here we go with Hop. Hello, hello, which I think is probably our rival. Oh, is that your Flash new phone thing? Oh, I guess. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer your mom without you with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Oh, is that what everyone was doing? I saw... Oh, there's mom. Ha! Huh, I didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Is this the big day? Yes, that's exactly why I came running over to get think. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home. Anyway, I record all my brother... Oh! Okay, so his brother is the champion. Come with me, Think. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. What bag? Now I gotta run. See you at mine later. See you at your what? What? Is huh? Okay. There we go. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Yo, wait. You, dude, you move so fast. This is crazy. Like, kind of too fast. I gotta get used to that. What's up, buddy? Okay. Um, so you, it's weird because we don't start in our bedroom. That's that's really weird, right? The fireplace building the houses keeps things warm in the harshest winters. Now, the Galar region is, as you probably know if you're watching this, is modeled after the United Kingdom. 
uh, or England, well, yeah, the United Kingdom, not just England. Um, and uh, so a lot of what we're going to be seeing as far as the routes and everything and the houses and the structures uh, are supposed to look a lot like that. Rushing off in that state thing, didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I saw it in your room, don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. So it's cold there too, apparently. Oh, look at this, this is cool. You grab your dad's old bag. Oh, this is a backstory. That does not look comfortable. That is not the, well, okay, it's fine. What's going on there? Okay, well, that is me. Aha, adventure guide. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. You can save your progress. You can also check out the town map. All right, so let's go and get our starter. Now, it was really interesting, guys. So I was, wait, what? Uh, I was at the, um, why can't I go out this door? Isn't that, is that, that's not the way out, is it? No. <laughs> there. Hop is waiting. Wait, what? I know. Mmm, look at our house. Mm-hmm. Wow, that, that is, hey, what's up? All right, um, oh, you know, so, okay, anyway, let's go talk to Hop. Ha ha ha, have a look at you think that old bag looks like he can pull you over. Yeah, it's huge. At least we know it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Well, it fits in a Pokeball, it doesn't matter how big it is, dude. Whoa, what's your Pokemon doing there? A Wooloo, a Wooloo, Wooloo, but what's it doing there? Um... <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, can we stop it? I feel bad for it. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No bad Wooloo. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wield. So ghosts, I guess. Wow, I feel really bad. Now that that's taken care of. Is it really though? It's still rolling into the into the thing there. How about it? Think, let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Oh yeah? Dude, he's, oh my goodness, we move so fast. Go, 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 I can't go! Okay, that's not really fair. He had a huge head start. <laughs> so Wooloo are everywhere, it seems like. What does this say? Welcome to the town of Postwick, a farming town since the days of old, where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. Is this a trainer? Because I don't have any Pokemon yet. Uh, the power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? I'm actually not sure what that means. Is this his house? I assume it is, right? Hello? Oh, just walk right in. Didn't even knock. Is that Hop's mom? Yeah, it is. There he is. How come he's not wearing a hat? Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along Think. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He probably only just arrived at the station of Wedgehurst. That's where I'm going then. You see Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yeah, that's probably for the best. You gotta come with, Think. You still never met my big bro, right? Oh, how many brothers do you have, dude? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. Wait. You call him Lee? I thought his name was Leon. Okay, so we're talking about the same dude. Okay, I'll wait for you out on the route. We'll just follow. <laughs> we'll look at this stuff later. All right, where uh, Wedgehurst was further down the route. Uh oh. Oh no, he, that's him. <laughs> we're like, uh oh, we gotta fight. Let's get a move on. Only remember, think wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready to for battles against wild Pokemon, of course, but not you, so we'll still clear the tall grass as we go. Wait, what? Wait a minute. I'm actually entering a route without a starter? Oh, this is so weird. What if I try and go there? No one, okay. If you don't, if you've got to, okay, all right, fine. Um, and, and you know what's weird? So um, I was at, let's go immediately at the station. It's dead ahead from here. Oh yeah, I see all these people. When I went to the I went to the Pokemon launch event at the Nintendo store and they were talking about it, just doing like a basic intro to the game, they did not call the starters starters. They were always referring it to referring to it as a partner Pokemon. There he is! And I wonder why. I it just I, I know that I think they started using that terminology in Let's Go. Uh, but I'm still just gonna say starter because way fewer syllables than partner Pokemon. And you all know what I mean. 
Um, hello, hello, Wedgers! Your champion, Leon, is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for all of you to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Okay, first, well, uh, <laughs> well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. Oh, that's a little laggy. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Ha ha ha. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong, but the other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. Don't worry, I will, bro. My wish for Galar's, Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Rawr. Come on, Gigantamax him or whatever. Lee, hop! So my number one fan in all the world has come out to pick on his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it, you must be Fink. Am I right? You are right. I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar's region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Uh, your brother calls you Lee. Come on, Lee, and you think, I bet I can beat the both of you back home. Hmm, I don't know about that. That Hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? The proper rival of his own. I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Whoa, look at all the sponsors on his cape. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. And there's that, like, the Charizard pose, right? I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Cool. Oh, dude, do I get his Charizard? Oh, no, it took off. <laughs> uh, right, I'm a Charizard fan, too, actually. But I don't think Char Charmander is one of the choices here. Uh, come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Fink and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you did. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Uh, okay, that was a little weird. Take a good look, you two. Um, boom. And there they are. We've got the Grass-type Pokemon, Grookey. The Fire-type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the Water-type Pokemon, Sobble. Wait, where are you guys go going? Get, get. Wait, do we have to chase them into the... Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, I feel bad for Scorbunny. He should be able to like jump in lava or something, right? Like, Grookey's in the trees. Sobble's in the water. <laughs> and score bunny <laughs> that was super effective whoa so was that oh okay wow they just use like super effective moves on all each other oh this is cute i like this all right line up everyone oh man okay so here we go which will you choose and obviously you guys probably know i haven't I haven't set the thumbnail yet, but I already kind of know what the title is because I've already picked out my starter Pokemon. I did a long time ago. Uh, go on pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. So, um, I, wait, do I, oh, okay. So, uh, I, I, well, I had already decided when I first saw the starters. I know what the evolutions are now. It hasn't changed my mind. Uh, the, the, the struggle I was having was with sword versus shield, and I was always on the Sobble Squad, before it was called the Sobble Squad. Uh, so, let's, that's cool that you choose them like that too. That's the water type, Sobble. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Now, also these starters are not like in Sun and Moon where um, their final evolutions uh, are dual type. They're straight up, like all three of them are uh, grass all the way or fire all the way or water all the way to their final evolution. So, um, no dual typing on their final evolution. So, going with the water type, Pokemon Sobble. Yes, I am. <laughs> and it's the first time I've ever seen Sobble smile right there. Usually, he's sad and crying all of the time. Would you like to give, see? Would you like to give Sobble a nickname? Absolutely. Oh, it's female. Ooh. Okay, so, mmm, that changes things. Because what I was going to choose, because I was, like, I was really sure that this starter Pokemon was going to be a, a male. I, I think it's, I think it's relatively rare 
not like shiny or anything. Also, guys, uh, from what I have read and been told, the starters in this part, uh, you can catch a shiny, but you cannot get a shiny. It is shiny locked uh, at the first choice. So don't go wasting your time like soft resetting at the beginning to get a shiny starter. Uh, you can catch them shiny, but you can't get them here, supposedly. All right, so <laughs> the original name that I had, because I was sure it was going to be a boy, was Sobzilla. It is so perfect, like, you know, because he's like a lizard. So kind of, you know, Godzilla, I mean, in some ways is a lizard. He's a giant lizard that, you know, destroys cities. But I thought it would be perfect, but it's a girl. And I just spent the last 15 minutes trying to think of a good name. And I came up with like Lizzie because it's a lizard, but it didn't work for me. So here's what I came up with. I actually Googled sobbing in Japanese. Sobble, because, you know, she is always sobbing and crying. And I actually like the name. I, I, I think it comes I think it comes out uh, as a good name for a girl as well. I'm going to have a little trouble pronouncing it from time to time, but it is Susurinaki. Uh, and if any of you speak Japanese, please correct my pronunciation. I would appreciate it. But, um, and we might like nickname, like, well, I mean, it is a nickname, but we might shorten it to like Susu, but when I call it her, but Susurinaki, let me make sure I spelled that right. Susurinaki. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Susu Rinaki has been added to your party. There she is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so it'll be Sabo for you. Nice one. Yep. Sabo Squad. Then I'll go with Score Bunny. You're mine. Ha <laughs> ha Dumb dumb. You chose the wrong one, Hop. You're even going to be the next champion. You're going to get wrecked in this one because I'm going to be super effective. Uh, you and I will be doing some serious training. Okie dokie. Watch out, dude. Wooloo. He's got fire. He's going to burn your wool. I bet it'll be you, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and think. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Poor Grookey. Oh my goodness. I feel so bad. <gasps> oh, wait. You're going to take him, right? And you'll come with me. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I felt so bad for the poor monkey. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict. Strict. But real strong and real kind, too. Yeah, he, he looks real real, real kind. <laughs> All right, enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, kids. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Whoa. What is... Is he lighting the grill? Oh, no, he's just hungry. <laughs> Thought he was trying to light the grill with Score Bunny, but I see Score... Oh! Hook it up, dude! The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? See, it doesn't say, st I mean, I don't know. Did it always say that? We just call it starter? I don't know. You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Things made fast friends with this Sobble, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. Dude, you better cut it out with the unbeatable stuff. <laughs> Because you're going to be sorely disappointed. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. You think Fink might be able to challenge you. Then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose him and miss out on my chance to become beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. I know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already? Hop! Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see who handles yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take on Hop in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yes. Believe in your partner, Pokemon. Yes, yeah, see? That's what I was talking about. But anyway, and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn... Why is it turning dark? You'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon, and more importantly, to have champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers are like, let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and a magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Uh, how about choosing a different Pokemon? That that would have been a better... That would have been... Not, wow, okay. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Okay. Oh, he's got two! That doesn't seem fair! He's starting with the Wooloo. I don't even know what type Wooloo is. I, I would assume, like... I'm, I'm gonna assume... Well, I don't know. I'm thinking Mareep, then Electric, but then, um, 
Oh, it's level three versus level five. Susu Renaki. Susu Renaki. I gotta start saying that. Um, oh, come on! Are you kidding me? We don't even start with a water move? All right. Oh, dude, this is gonna take ages. <laughs> I swear if he beats me. Okay. Let's... But he's got two. That seems really unfair. <laughs> but maybe... Maybe I'll learn the water move. Because there has to... I mean... Hmm. The moves ain't good at the start. If he has a fire move, I guess it's not super effective. This is not fair, dude. I'm already down to half health. Get him. Oh, thank goodness. I knocked it out. If he got one more turn. All right, here we go. Your Pokemon gained XP. Uh, enough for a level. Okay. That's cool. Yes, there's the water move. Okay, cool. It's not over yet. I've added another trust site ally to my team. Oh, okay. Score bunny. Hmm. Wonder what I should do here. Maybe I should do pound. Nope. Goodbye. One shot. Here we go. Yep. Sorry, hop. <gasps> Did you already know about type advantages? Um, no. <laughs> and he critical. Or she critical. A critical hit. What kind of beginner's luck is that? B bye. Your Pokemon gained XP. There we go. Another move? Maybe. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. Oh, you beat my Pokemon with your one. You and that Sobble are too much. Yep. Susu Renaki and I wrecked you. Well, that was a shock. Guess I now know why. Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in all the fun. Oh, Sobble would have wrecked him too. He's fire type. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? Yeah, heal her up. And think, you've got real promise. In fact, I got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. Or do you want to get stronger and stronger? You see me in battle now. Lee, let's, uh, Lee, so come on. You've got to take me to the Pokemon gyms. You? Join the gym challenge? <laughs> you couldn't even beat a Sobble. You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the rapid dash there, little brother. Oh, right. So that's, that's, okay, hold on. Let's just, okay. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Think. Whoa. Whoa, rude. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. Trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths, but it's more than a collection of data. You know, it's a collection of trainers' love and passion for Pokemon training. Gimme, 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 gimme. Right, 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 we get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for me and you, think. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a single, simple po Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. So, yeah, guys, so the reason... Oh, my goodness, really? <laughs> Think, did you hear that just now? Yeah. Oh, no. Did something happen to my house? The gate's open and the Wooloo that was there. Oh, it opened the, the scary place. Do we have to go chase it down? It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? Yeah, I do. But it's off limits. Nobody is supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. That was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor after. Think, what do you say? Obviously, we have to save it. Right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in. Yeah. So I chose Pokemon Shield because, um, well, one, Galarian Ponyta. And two, because in Shield, well, I actually like the legendary design on Sword better, but uh, we get to unlock the Larvitar Tyranitar or Pupitar Tyranitar line in Shield. Uh, it, it's all, come on, think we can't just leave the Pokemon on its own in Shield, where um, where in in um, in uh, in Pokemon Sword you can't, and also instead of Galarian Ponyta, you get Surfetched instead of um, the Galarian Ponyta. But I wanted the Galarian Ponyta, so. Uh, that Wulu, where do you think it got off to? I don't know. That fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Can we catch a Pokemon? <laughs> oh wait, do I have any Pokeballs? I'm not even sure. Oh, I, wait, do I? No. Well, that, uh, that stinks. Whoa. Okay. What do we got? 
It's a squirrel! A squovet. Okay. Don't know that... Oh, it's level 2, though, so I'm just going to pound it in the ground. I um, Now, I do know that once you have faced or encountered one of the Pokemon... That's okay. Um, when, once you have faced them, it will tell you uh, whether your moves are super effective or not effective against it on the next encounter, um, which will help me learn what the types are. Because I don't know and I haven't studied. I've stayed away from as many spoilers as I can. So, I mean, I'm assuming this guy is normal. Um, but I don't know. It's like, I mean, it's the, it's the familiar, familiar song that we all know, but just like sort of remixed a little bit. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to talk to you? Doing all right there, Saba? Let's be sure you're going to tip out. Oh. Okay. Since when can you do that, dude? I like this though. Uh, okay. So if I, what if I walk? Oh, dude, check this out. Oh, doesn't do anything though. You still run into them. What is this? Okay. So this Rookity, I would say flying type. Um, but I don't have any, I don't have any moves to that or anything that's super effective against flying type, but I could use water gun just because for stab and I knocked it. Well, obviously it's level two. <laughs> Goodbye. Also, guys, uh, you do want to encounter and beat as many Pokemon as you can because it does, I think once you get over a certain number of encounters, or no, a certain number of one battles or KOs, maybe catches too, but at least uh, the, the more you get, the better chances you have of getting shinies. Um, and that's like a total, I think up to 500 is the max bonus. I saw that on someone's channel. Uh, so anyway, did you hear that? What, what Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? I don't know. Was that a Wooloo? Man, these things come like <laughs> out of nowhere. Oh, another one of you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, so now we'll be able to see uh, whether anything is super effective. I wouldn't expect that it is. Just effective. Okay, so yeah, I'll just use this. This will be a stronger move. All right, and two shots instead. Ah, oh, nice, critical. Way to go. Dun, dun. Oh. Okay. Now, do we, uh, do we have EXP share? That's one thing I don't think that we're starting off with here. Oh, keep going this way, huh? What? what? Oh, that's definitely something calling. Come on, think that Wulu might be in real trouble. Whoa, dude. Uh, hop. Where you at, dude? Okay, whoa. Almost couldn't see you. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I know why this place is off limits. Uh, uh. Um, uh, oh, dude, it's the legendary. What in the? Yep. Wait, do we get it right now? Grilled. Is that like shield? Like Pokemon shield? Question, question, question appeared. Well, we're going to fight a legendary at the start? What am I supposed to do here? This doesn't. I think I shouldn't have chosen this. I'm gonna go with Water Gun, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Suzurunaki! It is not effective. No effect. The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect? How would, okay. A water move has no effect? What about normal? Also no effect. Uh, uh oh. Oh, so that's what's making all the fog? Think I can't see anything. Are you okay? Uh, I don't know. Growl at it. Scared away. Come on, Suzuranaki. <laughs> oh, okay. So the more moves that we use, the. Oh, I like how it does that to the music. I can't see anything. The more fog that comes, and then the battle will end, I guess. I don't know. Whoa! Uh, whoa. Still super foggy, but the legendary is gone. Whoa. You okay, dude? Oh, dude, what's wrong with your eye? Hop, think! Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, Hop lost his eye! What? Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Well, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. 
I had been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue, rescue the, rescue the Rulu. Aww. Meh. The little chap's just fine. Though, all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, right? But it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least the other Wulu's alright. Yeah, I think? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling and a mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I'd ever seen, and it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wield. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough that maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, he didn't, he didn't actually yell at us. What an experience. That'll make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Ah, that's a little bit clearer. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. Ah, uh, yeah, Hop. I was about to do that before, before you sent me off to the forest and got me in trouble. She'll go spare. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Okay. Wow. Thanks, Dad. Um. <laughs> All right, guys. I think this is a good place to end the episode. I hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of my Pokemon adventure. If you are, click the like button. Also, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified when I make more videos of this and also when I ask for more suggestions for next week's Fan Choice Friday. And I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, goodbye.